Greetings to all. In this video, we are going to learn about the important stones classification and its uses. In every year, in this topic, they will ask at least one question. I analyzed more than five years of previous year question paper in SSC JE Engineering. They will ask at least one question from in this topic. So in this year also, I can expect one question from in this topic. So now we will see the first stone. Granite. Granite is naturally it is a igneous rock. Please remember, granite is a igneous rock. Now we will move to the three important values of granite. First one is specific gravity. The specific gravity value of granite is two point six three to two point seven five. The granite have a water absorption capacity is less than one percentage. The compressive strength of the granite is 77 to 130 Newton per mm square. So these three are important values of granite. So granite have a specific gravity value 2.63 to 2.75 and its water absorption capacity is less than 1 percentage. The compressive strength of the granite is 77 to 130 Newton per mm square. Now we will see the suitability of granite or uses of granite. Granite is most suitable for bridges, abutments, piers, dams, seawalls, lighthouses. This is very important one. In lot of competitive examinations, uh, the most suitable questions are asked. So granite is most suitable for the construction of bridges, abutments, piers, dams, seawalls, lighthouses. So in this section, what type of MCQ questions they are asked means what is the most suitable stone for construction of dams or what is the most suitable stone for construction of abutments, bridges, sea walls, lighthouses, etc. They may be asked like that and also they are asked about what is the specific gravity and granite compressive strength or granite classified what type of stone this type of questions they are asked so please learn thoroughly please learn thoroughly the classification that is very important now we will move to the next stone trap and basalt trap and basalt is also a igneous rock it is classified under the igneous rock and trap and basalt have a specific gravity value 2.6323 and its compressive strength is 150 to 190 Newton per mm square. So when compared to granite, trap and basalt have more compressive strength. Please remember when compared to granite, trap and basalt are have more compressive strength. So it is suitable for road metal and concrete aggregate. Please remember they simply told suitable for road metal and concrete aggregate, not told the most suitable one. So, please try to remember suitable and most suitable one. Okay. Trap and basalt is an igneous rock and its specific gravity is 2.623. Its compressive strength is 150 to 190 Newton per mm square. It is suitable for road metal and concrete aggregate. Now we will move to the next stone serpentine. Serpentine is classified under igneous rock and uh, it is suitable for ornamental works. So serpentine is igneous rock, it is suitable for ornamental works. Cyanide. Cyanide is also a igneous rock. It is most suitable for road metal. So we will we, we saw trap and basalt is most not most suitable for road metal. It is simply suitable for road metal. But in the case of cyanide, it is most suitable for road metal. So in competitive examination, they are asked about what is the most suitable stone for road metal. So you can choose cyanide. When no option given in cyanide means you can choose trap and basalt. Okay. Now we will move to the next stone, sandstone. So sandstone, please remember a keyword of yes. It is classified under the sedimentary rocks. Please remember sandstone is a sedimentary rock. S is the keyword. And the specific gravity value is 
2.65 to 2.95 its strength is 65 newton per mm square so sandstone is uh, used for tile stone for roofing natural stone for ornamental work grid for heavy engineering works these are the suitability of sandstone now we will move to the next stone limestone limestone is also classified under the sedimentary rocks its specific gravity value is 2.0 to 2.75 its compressive strength is 55 newton per mm square so limestone is suitable for flooring paving and roofing in the manufacture of lime and cement so simply they are told limestone is suitable for flooring paving and roofing and also it is used for the manufacture of lime and cement now we will move to the next zone kankar kankar is a impure limestone we already know so kankar is classified under the category of sedimentary rock and it is used as a building material and uh, nodal kankar is used to produce hydraulic lime these are the these are the uses of kankar now we will move to the next stone muram muram is nothing but decomposed laterite and it is also classified under the sedimentary rock and is most suitable for surfacing fancy pots in gardens and bungalows so please remember what is the most suitable stone for bungalows or what is the most student for surface fancy works in gardens or what is the most suitable stone for gardens these type of questions they may be asked so the most suitable stone for garden is muram the most suitable surface surfacing fancy path is also muram the most suitable stone for bungalow is also muram and is also named as decomposed laterite now we will move to the next stone genes genes is nothing but it is a metamorphic rock and also is a, it is a stratified granite and it is uh, suitable for rough stone masonry works stone pitching and road metal so road metal we already see the most suitable stone for road metal but in the case it is simply suitable for road metal so genes is a metamorphic rock and it is suitable for rough stone masonry works stone pitching and road metals now we will move to the next stone laterite laterite is nothing but it is a sandy clay and it is classified under the category of metamorphic rock and it is most not most it is suitable for rough stone masonry work it is suitable for rough stone masonry works so genesis is also suitable for rough stone masonry works laterite also suitable for rough stone masonry works so genesis and both genesis and laterite is suitable for rough stone masonry works now we will do we will move to the next stone namely marble it is very important one marble is a metamorphic rock it is classified under the metamorphic rock and its specific gravity value is 2.65 and its crushing strength is 70 newton per mm square see it is most suitable for monuments statuettes flooring decorative and ornamental works so we we will already saw suitable for ornamental works is serpentine it is simply they are, they are told suitable but but marble is most suitable one so most suitable for monuments statue flooring decorative and ornamental work is marble and its specific gravity value is 2.65 crushing strength is 70 newton per mm square now we will move to the next stone slate this is also very important one slate is classified under the category of metamorphic rock and its specific gravity is 2.89 its compressive strength is 77 to 210 newton per mm square and also it is most suitable for roof coverings floorings dam proofing and partitions Marble is most suitable for static static flooring and slate is most suitable for roof coverings, floorings, dam proofing and 
partitions so this is very important topic i also shared this material as a pdf in my website kindly go and download this material and revise two to three times in this in this both two tables are uh, very important one we may learn thoroughly means we can solve more questions in competitive examinations when they are asked in this topic the most suitable questions are likely to ask and also what it is classification they also uh, may be asked and the values of specific gravity compass used in questions also they may be asked so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you